of the part one of teacher diaries, teacher vlogs, or whatever. I am just making this video to close it out. As you can see, I am frowning because people are just so stupid in this world. Like, I just cannot deal. But tune into part two to realize what's my problem and why I'm frowning my eyebrows, okay? It's too early to be frowning my eyebrows, but I'm frowning my eyebrows. But you guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As I, as you know, when I'm driving and I'm um, headed to school, I'm Tara J, and I'm out. Peace. street like we're not even on the expressway yet it's like a long street that i gotta drive up to get to the expressway and um the whole entire time he driving in my blind spot so i mean i could see him so it's not technically my blind spot but is he right there you know what i'm saying so we finally get to the place where it's um i need him to slow down or move out of my fucking way so i can get over because clearly my car is in front of yours right so then um, so then he uh, speeds up like he literally starts speeding up like it don't even make no sense how he was speeding up and you obviously see my turning signal because my turning signal was on the entire time it's on like literally the entire time so clearly I'm going to eventually need to get over so he not thinking about that not considering that at all and I go in front of him anyway because what the fuck am I supposed to do pass my turn and go straight until you feel like you want to finally drive past me like you ain't drove past me this entire time so what the fuck slow your fucking ass down or you gonna have to smash in the back of me and I'm gonna own your little baby ass Honda like it don't even make no fucking sense like why are you driving that fucking fast this morning anyway and then why are you driving on my asshole to begin with so he was like really this close from hitting me and I would have hit because you know it's two lanes when you turn it onto the well it's two lanes on this specific street to turn to get to the expressway to make a left turn so they sitting there not in motion they at rest and um waiting on the signal so they could turn left so I would have smashed in front of that car and he would have smashed in front of me I had to zoom over one more time to get um over to the second lane just so I didn't hit that car and he didn't hit me. It's like, are you a fucking nut? Like, people really be waking up doing stu stupid ass shit and you make stupid ass decisions. Like, it don't even make no sense. And if he would have hit me, I should have. I should have let him fucking hit me because how is it my fault that you hit the back of me? Please argue that in court. I would have owned that motherfucker Honda and then he got the nerve to um, stop his car. No, now you want to stop your car. You could have stopped your car back then when I needed you to get the fuck, slow your ass down, but you chose not to. And, um, after that, he gonna <laughs> throw his water cup at me. Like, first of all, I needed a car wash. Yo, dumb ass. Like, you lucky you were driving. Like, I don't got a problem with sm smacking nobody, nigga. A bitch, a nigga, none of that. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, you the one that was driving on my ass. Like, literally, y'all know how the back of your car, somebody is literally driving front, front, um front thing is literally right here on the back of your car the entire time so what the fuck you expect them to, what the fuck do they expect you to do so i'm constantly looking at him in the sad mirror like okay so what you gonna do like clearly my signal is on so i need you to slow down or back the fuck up or speed past me you choosing to do neither so my choice is to get the fuck over because i need to get over and let you smash in front of me and then i own your fucking honda stupid ass clown so anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful day today is friday i'm turned up my glasses are foggy and i'm just not even in the fucking mood but i'm gonna try to get drink drink this tea hope they got breakfast in the office hope these kids make me laugh and call it a day because yeah i'm over it so have a good day guys i'll try to vlog later peace it may help lower your prescription costs and we'll <sighs>
<sighs> what is up beautiful people it is now the weekend my friday is finally my weekend is finally here and my friday is finally over damn what happened at this gas station again but anyway my friday is finally here well my let's <laughs> start over and see what what is up beautiful people as you can see i am in a much better mood my friday is fun my school day is finally over but my friday is not over and um i'm feeling good i'm happy about today yeah i'm just feeling good uh my student brought me some stuff for a teacher appreciation week it smells so freaking good and the only thing is that I'm not gonna really be able to use one of them because I'm allergic to oat, to Dove soap, but it's like Dove's bath salt. So if I end up using this, y'all, and I like break out of hives, <laughs> don't judge me. Or y'all probably won't see me post, y'all probably gonna see me post a whole bunch of old videos for like a week or three weeks because I'm gonna have to go down from, from my bumps and stuff because it smells like fantastic and then she gave me got me this candle and this um diffuser to go with it it's like lavender and sage it's like she know me so freaking well because i love lavender i love sage and it smells amazing so that was pretty cool another student brought me something to school every single day this week and i was like ah, that was so nice so i just got a whole bunch of stuff but just stay tuned for that video because I am going to do uh, uh, what I got for uh, basically a uh, um, packaging. Well, I kind of did that already because we had to do show and tell and they were like begging me, show us what you got. So it was like doing that. So, but I'm going to do another one. It's not really unpackaging because it's already pretty much unpackaged. But I'm just going to be showing you guys everything that I got. And um, yeah, just talking about it, talking about the students that gave me this stuff and all of that good stuff. So a little boy came in, he brought me a teacher's apple. I always wanted that, you know, like the real like stereotypes when you're in the movies and you see the teacher and the students, the teacher's pet bringing the student, uh, uh, the, the student bringing the teacher the apples to school. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened. He gave me a red apple. I freaking hate red apples, but I just got it on my desk and I just love to look at it because he gave it to me and it was cool and I'm finally a teacher and I finally got to experience that stuff so I thought that was mad dope. Um, I'm also, two reasons why I'm not gonna eat it because of probably every single student on my desk touched it. And then um, I don't eat red apples so simple as that. So even if I did eat red apples, I probably would not be eating it because they all touched it and rolled their hands around. It's warm. Why you have this apple and all else and all, all this type of gross, non-sanitary ass stuff that kids do. The germs. They just got the germs. Meanwhile, I forgot to get my student back her sunflower thing, so she's going to be expecting it on Monday. But isn't this cute? Like, she know better than that. I don't even know why she ain't buy me one. I don't know why she didn't buy me one. But I, last time I had it on, she forgot that I had it on. No, she didn't forget that I had it on. Actually, she um, asked for it at the end of the day, but for some reason, she didn't remember me having it on. Also, because the end of the day, we were having a cool free Friday. We um, was watching that movie, Master Machine, or something like that. It's kind of like The Incredibles, but it's They're Not The Incredibles. It just came out, a Netflix movie. I did not get to watch it because I was so busy drawing and dr showing pictures with the other half of my class. So, yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> what else? What else? I'm trying to think of what else. Just stay tuned for that video. Today was uh, pretty good. We took a, a different kind of spelling test just to see if they was able to fix all the fragments in the sentences. And um, put because our spelling words was contractions this week. So, I was just trying to make sure they were able to put the apostrophe where it's supposed to be and um fix the punctuations like if you need a period i mean fix the fragments like if you need a period or the first letter is supposed to be capitalized or x out the and and the beginning of the sentence then capitalize the next letter all of that good stuff that they need to pretty much know and be ready for and come third grade it's exciting and also another thing we were able to do today we finally introduced our k 
caterpillars. Hold on, I'm, I'm about to go over with Bumpy Road, guys. One minute. Okay, so yeah, we finally introduced our caterpillar caterpillars. So two things, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I said I was a bad a bad plant mom, but honey, all my butterfly, my number butterflies, my plants growing. <laughs> I got those plants from the dollar store, and they are growing, and I'm super psyched about it. So I make sure I continue to water them every single day after school because why not, right? So this week. We are going to remap, refresh our brains on what the life cycle is about. And then we're going to specifically talk about the butterfly. Why? Because Miss Warren loves sunflowers and she loves butterflies. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm biased with that. But, yeah, we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about um, the life cycle of a butterfly. And then we're going to talk about the... That's it. The life cycle of a butterfly. We're not going to talk about anything else. I'm trying to get up and vlog at the same time, guys. That's the hardest thing you could possibly do is get over and vlog at the same time. And there's traffic going into the city. Goodness gracious. But, yeah. We, our caterpillars came, long story short. So, it's going to take us about the rest of the school year, actually. Starting Monday, we have 28 days of school left. So, yeah, I believe the paper said it takes about 28 days for the butterfly to even become a butterfly. So, damn, it's a whole lot of traffic. Lord. So, that's going to be dope. I wish I can vlog that. So, I'm gonna, even if I don't, I'm going to try my best to vlog it. The life, the life cycle of a butterfly and raising a butterfly is super cute because we got these this little booklet that i'm going to print out and staple for each one of them and they can get like a cool certificate about how they all raise the butterfly it's just super super dope i love it okay i wish i would have did an unboxing low-key but whatever there's that and yeah i got papers in the back that i need to grade so i'm gonna do that over the weekend I'm gonna do some artwork and I'm gonna just chill. Hopefully I finish my um, picture book. I'm gonna try to finish that so I can get it all digitalized and stuff like that and kick it, pull me up a drink, get drunk, turn up. I, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you, I really do hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend and turn up as well, you feel me? <laughs> okay. But as you know it, I'm Tara J, and I'm out. Peace. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. What is up, beautiful people? It is me, Tara J, back again with another one, as you know it. And I am here to wish you guys a wonderful Mother's Day. I thought, although Mother's Day was yesterday, Although Mother's Day was yesterday, if you are a mother watching this video, I do wish you the greatest week because of course Mother's Day started this week off. So I wish you a great week, not just a great day, but a great week. I wish you so many more blessings, soon to be mothers, mothers that aren't even mothers yet. So, you know, stepmoms, all of that good stuff, moms that may have passed away, moms that aren't, you know, all of the moms moms even me technically i'm a mom in my kind of way tt mom okay <laughs> but yeah i wish you guys a great and wonderful day i hope you, your week is prosperous i actually hope everybody who's watching this video week is prosperous as you can see today is monday happy monday i am headed to work as usual i did not put my earrings in so i'm currently holding them new nails new hair y'all like my bangs they are so cute right but anyway, I am currently headed to work. I'm feeling good. The uh, only thing that I am missing is um, honey in my teeth. <laughs> I realized that I don't have any honey in the house, so I'm pretty salty about that. I don't have any honey. So my tea is about to be like extremely gross unless they have honey in the refrigerator at work. And I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hoping that 
Somebody just left some honey for me. Somebody just either left some honey for me. Y'all see what I did? Honey for me. <laughs> but um, somebody left some honey in the refrigerator because they drink tea in the morning like me. I'm crossing my fingers because you know that'd be raw as fuck. But yeah, I'm feeling good today. I hope the kids are in a wonderful mood. Today marks 28 days of school. Hold on, guys. The bump is coming. Okay guys, so today marks 28 days of school. We are starting all of our fun, 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 fun activities on Wednesday. Wednesday marks our 26th day of school. We're gonna do our ABC alphabet calendar countdown and that's gonna be mad cool. So I am looking forward to that. I've seen a woman, garbage, a garbage woman before. Yeah, that was OC. But um, never in my life have I seen a woman garbage, a garbage woman. That's kind of cool. But anyway, um, yeah, tw Wednesday marks 26 days. We're doing a 26 day calendar where we do something cool connected to the alphabet. It's like, so for instance, Wednesday will be A. So we will be doing like, be um artistic or all about me something cool that is representing the a's then it'll be b b is like um bubbles we're gonna play looking majority of the day we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of fun stuff um thursday it no friday is crazy socks so i have to make sure i stop and give me some crazy socks and all of that good stuff so um, I had a few parents email me back talking about that's gonna be so fun. They're gonna be excited. They're gonna love it So I'm hoping that that is the case because I'm gonna have fun. I'm a, you know, I'm an overgirl kid anyways So <laughs> yeah And hopefully today I finally give them the cookies that I've been holding for like two weeks I'm not even lying. If you watch my last video, you see that I keep telling you guys I forgot the cookies I forgot the cookies again. They're literally just like <laughs> Just there so I'm gonna try to do that today. I'm not even lying. I'm on a, that's gonna be my thing. I'm, and you know what? I'm gonna do it this morning. I'm gonna see how they behave in the morning. And I'm gonna um, do the cookies in the morning because I ain't got time. I don't got time for these goddamn cookies, okay? They just there. So <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of them today. I'm crossing my fingers that I do do that. And I'll let you guys know. If I don't do the cookies, you guys are good. <laughs> just someone. Someone keep cur someone curse me out like, bitch, if you don't get them kids the cookies. But. Yeah, again guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is um, still Diaries 2. I don't start Diaries 3. I think I'm, um, every Thursday, I think I'm going to relive and do, um, start over with my teacher diaries. So I think that's pretty cool. I'll talk to you guys, give you guys how I'm feeling. Um, just, you know, give you tea. Show you guys my new hairstyle every time I have a new hairstyle too. <laughs> that too. As you can see, I'm feeling wonderful. I always feel wonderful on Mondays because I know I'm, I know I'm very blessed to have life because some people may have not woke up this morning so I'm very blessed. I'm normally listening to my God and my Jesus and my gospel music but I thought I'd come into the come into the, come into the video with you guys today and talk to you guys about how I'm feeling. So if you don't feel good today I hope your day gets so much better and I hope you feel just as blessed as me and happy. And one fun fact about me is that I do smile a lot. That's so funny that I was on um, I was doing a quiz for the principal and of course we gotta wear masks and we've been wearing masks ever since we pretty much met and um she was like what is fun fact about you one fun fact that nobody knows about you and I was like well I smile a lot and, and she literally was like we already know that like everybody know you smile a lot and I was like well that's cool because I do smile a lot I can't help it I can't help it I have a reason to smile smiling is Joy, joyful and joyous like I think everyone should take advantage of that and smile all day long okay but then the next thing I said was okay well I guess I got a YouTube channel so I didn't really want to bring that up but hey what else but there's that guys I want to get into my Jesus for a little bit before I get up off the e-way and um I hope you guys have a good day today peace Okay, I'm probably gonna pop a cough drop in because my throat 
specials. However, we're doing um, those sort of a standardized test, but it's not like paper. You know how we, back in the day, we used to do like the Terra Nova and all that type of stuff. They are not doing that stuff anymore. It's like all electronic. So we started yesterday. We have to do that for the rest of the week. And I just hope they try their best. All I can do is really encourage them the best way I can and hope that they don't just push any answer because it's electronic. But I guess it doesn't even make a difference because even if it was a paper test, they would put any answer on there too. They were just like, oh, C, 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 B, B, C, A, D. You know, like I don't see how it would be any different than what it would be electronically if you just push in every answer. So I just hope that they try their best and don't just rush through it because you ain't got nothing else to do. So now you got to sit here for the rest of the 45 minutes because you decided you wanted to rush through your test for 15 minutes. So there's that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am going to have to order me a lunch today because I did not cook. I ended up eating some nachos last night. I'm not even sure if I should have because my it was hurting my stomach a little bit. But I could just be hungry. So I did not make my tea this morning. For some reason, I just didn't want any tea today. But I should have been consistent with it and I should have kept going with the tea. And I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll drink some tea before I work out this afternoon. You never, I never really know. But anywho, I am about to go ahead and get up off the expressway and pull up to the school with less than five minutes to go. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. I look like a little Barbie. My skin is on point. And yeah, I wish you guys the, the best day ever. 27 days of school left. Let me know how many days of school you got left after seeing this video because after you see this video you'll probably i'll probably be at like day 24 or something like that you never really know because i have so many videos i have yet to edit and i have yet to post so where, wherever this video falls in line you will see that it may not be day 27 anymore because it is today is tuesday may 11 okay i hope you guys have a good day today again as you know it i'm tara j don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'm out peace Good morning. Today is Wednesday. This is my final video for my teacher diaries too. So yeah, I'm just coming to check it in to let you guys know that I, of course, I'm headed to school. And as you know it, I'm Tara J. But before we get into anything else, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't done anything else, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that is very important. And I really need you guys to continue to support me and love me and like this video because I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys very, 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 very much. And I just want to let you guys know that I still haven't given the kids those cookies and I've had those cookies for about two weeks and I just, I'm just happy that they haven't gone bad. But today, today is the day that I'm giving the cookies, okay? I am going to make sure I do it because... I just got to. If I don't do nothing else, I'm going to give these kids them cookies, okay? <laughs> Even if they bad. Just to get rid of them. But then again, I was wait. Oh, shit. I left my picture. So today was all about me day. And I kept saying I was going to grab my picture. I knew I should have put it in the bag when I was looking at it. Shit. I left my damn picture so I guess I can't participate. Unless I pass my phone around. Or I guess I could just print it out the printer. But then it's not going to be no color or nothing like that. Huh. I was supposed to grab my mom's picture so I can talk to them about my mom. So, Because everybody's supposed to bring a picture today. I can't believe I forgot my picture. That's very irresponsible of a teacher. How do I plan into something and make it fun and not forget to participate myself like a kid? God damn it. I was thinking about it all morning. As soon as I went, I knew I should have put it in my bag last night. And I said that. Put it in your bag last night. Put it in your bag. Put it in your bag. Last night I said that. And I was like, no, it'll be fine. I want to look at it until the morning. Nope. The morning came. I was like, okay. I remember to grab my picture. I did forget. I did forget. But somehow I got to running late and moving slow and it slipped my mind. And the bad part about that is I, um, I always stand in the doorway right before I close it and lock it and I look like okay because it's always a feeling like I feel like I'm missing something but I just don't know what it is so there's that I freaking left it and 
I'm annoyed at the fact that I left it. Very much so. Uh, I guess I can pass my computer around. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. I always be in the wrong lane. I'm childish. Oh well. I ain't getting on this first way, but I need to beat this light. But yeah, guys, I am about to pull into the parking lot. It is past 7.30, but whatever. It's 26 days of school left. Okay. Alright, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace out.